We're on a road trip to Drax. No, we're not really. We're going to a little brewery called the Little Black Dog Brewery and Tap Room, which is down there a little way. Seems strange after years and years of having the Twin Towers in Sheffield by the M1 and then the other ones at um, Barnby Dunn. They seem a strange thing to see these days. It's a beautiful kind of remnant. I would say remnant of our industrial past but they're still used. Anyway, onwards on road trip. Welcome back from the M18. This is where we is at and we're with Nigel. And Nigel is a brewer and we got chatting and Nigel and I both know a certain person over in Retford. Do you want to yes. say what you said to me? Yeah, it's, uh, I've got a lot of our inspiration um, from a home green pursuit from um, watching Chris uh, Harry Brew on YouTube. Um, a lot of the ideas that we, we built our little brewery on have come from watching Chris's this is videos on YouTube, it gave me a lot of ideas, a lot of inspiration and uh, I'd like to personally thank him for, for, for doing that, you know, he, uh, he, he he helped us build what we we're trying to build here, but a lot of the ideas we've replicated uh, building our little brewery up in our little tap room there. Brilliant, and I'll show you the tap room and the brewery, because this is truly outstanding. I didn't know what to expect when we came over, but... Isn't this nice? But this isn't the main event. Just look at this. I'll just be careful not to film any of punters. Look at this. Look at, cop this bar. I'll just very quickly wander around so we don't get anybody on film. So we can't afford to pay any royalties. But look. Just look at that wall. I mean, this is art in anyone's book. Possibly one of the most comfiest taps. But look at the artwork. So this is the tap, beautiful job, and then into brewery. You want to talk us through it, Nigel? Yeah, so this is, this is just the, this is the brewing side. The building's split into two halves. The first bottom end is the tap room area where um, the public come and, and sit down and, and drink beers obviously. This top end here is the brewing end. Um, pre, we like pre-lockdown this was where the brewery expansion was going, was going to go from. We, uh, I started off as a home brewer, um, just doing brewing some nice American IPA style beers, following Chris's uh, YouTube channel, seeing what recipes he was doing and sort of having similar ideas up here uh, and it just snowballed. Um, up to 2019 we couldn't brew enough beer so um, we sat up in a small stable block um, buying vessels in converting vessels making brewing equipment out again very much like Chris was on YouTube uh, we got to 2019 and we found that we couldn't brew enough beer so we needed to expand the business um, and we got a chance to move into this building in the village where we live um, so we took this on uh, and we all know what happened in 2020 uh, and our friend Covid came to visit well, they shut the business down. But we, so we're still in this building give us um, a, a walk around the brewery because it, it is in this side again it was plenty of room for if we decided we needed to get bigger or do other things like bottling or canning at certain points but um, we're finding what the way the market is at the moment it's beneficial for us now to go back down to sort of nano brewery size rather than trying to get in this middle area where yeah um, you're fighting to wholesale beer so we're, we're reducing size, we're going down from, um, we've got a um, five barrel uh, go plant at the top. Mm. 
so I had a five barrel system which we just bought the individual vessels and converted and made them into a brewing system which gives a, a six barrel boiler, five barrel mash tun and all the ancillary equipment with it. I also had um, a 750 litre boiler with a 500 litre, uh, 500 litre mash tun to allow us to do like a three barrel uh, brewing system. And then I've also got a 200 litre three barrel system um, at the top. Actually, there's a bit of story behind that system, the, the boiler, the wood clad boiler there. Um, so we were told we bought it from a chap in Chesterfield, Fish, uh, Pigeon Fishers, I think he had a brewery. Okay, yeah. Uh, and the story was that that boiler came from Thornbridge. The oh. 200 litre boiler came from Thornbridge. Um, he, he, um, the, the chap's down at Thornbridge and he bought it from Thornbridge when, when they wanted to redo it. Wow. So I'm never, never going to get rid of that piece of kit. No. <laughs> So that's a 200 litre system, but I also have two, um, two small 60 litre brown mice that we do um, pilot brews on. Well, Thornbridge is Harrison's as well, because we, we just discovered that your wife's maiden name was Harrison. Yes, yes. And then we've got Chris Harrison, and Thornbridge, of course, is uh, Jimmy Harrison well, and Emma. wife's called Christine Harrison, so she's, she's another Chris Harrison. Wow. <laughs> Weird things. And I used to be a techie, and Nigel used to... I was a broadcast engineer, television. So, <sighs> strange world. It's all, uh, all because of this world of brewing we've got. Well, oh, I love it. I love your tap room. I love your brewery. Um, we have just bought some stuff from Nigel and Christine, but I'm going to keep that a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Charlotte does know, <laughs> it's still a secret, but that'll be for another video. But this, I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, your tap room, I, I am I'm literally blown away. It's all very much in away. progress, you know, we're, we're redefining our business, uh, getting the business back to where we were. I, I love yeah. real ale, so I'm going to now specialise, hopefully, my home brewing side, my brewing side, on creating some nice but different real ales. Um, so again, I'll keep an eye close eye and see what Chris is doing at, uh, at Harry Brew. Yeah, well, he's building an extension on his house at the moment, so he's not brewing very much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this this really, I'm so glad that I spotted you and came over. And wonderful place. Thank you. It'll be so, next time you come. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think we ought to have um, we ought to have a club outing out here one night. We'll find a designated driver. We'll get a minibus, and uh, yeah, it's more. super. So I'll put all the links underneath this video, boys and girls. Thanks, Nigel. Thanks, Christine. Uh, wonderful. Till next time, you know the score, everybody. Whatever you're doing, do it safely. Cheers. Bonus footage. <laughs> This is just astonishing. <laughs> We're actually going backwards. This is the upstairs function room. And Nigel does all his own artwork. Which is fantastic. Look at that. Bonus footage. Even more bonus footage. Outside. Isn't this lovely? Duke of Norfolk's estate. Mind you, he owns half of England, so. Wow. Oh, brilliant. We're back at the boathouse. With all my space disappeared. Lovely, lovely little trip um, up to near Ghoul. Um, thoroughly enjoyed that. Lovely couple, smashing brewery, smashing tap room, just everything about it. I love things like that. They remotivate me. They give me, um, I don't know, just, just not just the motivation, but the ideas and the, I, I don't know, all, all of it. It's just a beautiful experience. Um, and I find that with, with brewers and, you know, it's always good to meet someone who again is going to big up Chris at Harry Brew. Anyway, this 
is what we went to buy from Little Black Dog Brewery. Prime Minister, oh the irony that you're raising alcohol duty today as you're pulling a pint. Prime Minister, oh the irony that you're raising alcohol duty today as you're pulling a pint.